Hello friends, again most welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see about the high performance liquid chromatography that is HPLC for M Pharma student. So in simple word HPLC it is a type of chromatography where we are going to separate the compound of mixture into its individual compound by pumping the mobile phase at a high pressure. As the name indicate high performance, uh, it indicate that the HPLC offers the improved performance than the other chromatographic techniques means this HPLC offers the better quality uh, for the separation of compound as compared to other chromatographic technique. So HPLC uses the high pressure that push the mobile phase solution to the column of the stationary phase uh, which allows the separation of complex mixture with a high resolution. So this is an introduction of HPLC. Let's see the type of HPLC based on the mode of chromatography there are two types of HPLC means normal phase HPLC and reservoir uh, reserved phase HPLC in normal phase HPLC the stationary phase it will be the polar and mo uh, mobile phase it, it will be the non-polar in reserved phase HPLC the stationary phase it is a non-polar and it, and the mobile phase it is a uh, polar hopefully you got the idea about the types of HPLC uh, let's see the second type based on the principle of separation so based on principle of separation HPLC can be classified that adsorption ion exchange partition gel permeation uh, chiral phase and affinity chromatography these are the subtype of the HPLC let's see the instrumentation of HPLC before going to uh, describe the instru instrumentation of HPLC in exam you have to uh, enlist the part of HPLC uh, then you will get the better marks in the exam so the normal HPLC may consist of the, the this general parts that is a reservoir solvent degassing unit will be there one mixing unit will be there high pressure pump will be there columns are there injector that is sample inlet will be there detectors and recorders will be there let's see the uh, diagram of the HPLC here you can see that there are two solvent reservoir can be used uh, in HPLC we can use two or four uh, solvent reservoir as per the instrumentation after the uh, solvent reservoir there will be a two degassing unit will be there then mixing vessels is attached to this degassing unit then from mixing vessels a high pressure pump is attached for pumping the mobile phase into the column this is a pre column uh, which uh, is a small as compared to the analytical column because this uh, pre column is also known as an uh, uh, guard column means it will going to protect the our analytical column because these columns are very uh, costly so we are uh, not going to take any risk uh, for this analytical column that's why we are providing the pre column that is in guard column if uh, any impurity or any defect will be there in mobile phase then it will be uh, minimized or uh, detected from the pre column so it cannot affect to the analytical column and ultimately this pre column will uh, protect this analytical column so here you can see that there is a sample in Inlet port, uh, inlet port. Uh, from this, we are going to inject our sample into the analytical column. Then, from analytical column, uh, our sample will uh, going to be detected by the detectors, and uh, uh, we will get the result of our HPLC or compound. Let's see the solvent reservoir. It is an user to store the mobile phase in HPLC. In this system, two or four bottles are used as a solvent reservoir. As I said that, and HPLC grade solvents are used in HPLC uh, because why uh, we are using HPLC grade because these are the uh, highly pure uh, solvents uh, if you are not using HPLC grade solvent then uh, there may be chances of uh, getting problem in our HPLC instrumentation so it is uh, recommended to use the HP HPLC grade solvent because these are the highly pure solvents uh, and these are the uh, very uh, uh, means used in the laboratory for the HPLC let's see the degasser what is the function of degasser the it is an user to remove the gases which are dissolved into the mobile phase so it is done by the vacuum pump uh, if the gas is trapped in the mobile phase and it will go to the column then the proper functioning of column will not be there so that's why we are using this degassing unit to remove the gases which are dissolved into the mobile phase uh, let's see the solvent mixing walls these are mainly used to uh, mix the solvents and the liquid is passed through the pipe having the diameter of 1 into 8 inch and uh, it is a made up of uh, 10 flown uh, through which our solvent uh, is going to be passed uh, let's see the HPLC pump there are two types of HPLC pumps are used uh, first pump it is a constant pressure pump and second it is a constant flow rate pump so generally this constant flow rate pump is used in the HPLC
let's see about the pre column it is, which is also known as an guard column so this column it is in used before the analytical column as we have discussed in the instrumentation of hplc this pre column is used before the guard col guard column that is an analytical column and this pre column is used to protect the analytical column and it means that the stationary phase it will go, go uh, goes goes to the pre column it will be same for the both columns so firstly the solvent will go to the pre column and then it will go to the analytical column so any type of contamination present in our solvent it will be removed by the pre column so uh, or the guard column so ultimately it will protect our analytical column uh, let's see the sample injector uh, uh, injector ports there are three types of uh, sample inject uh, injectors are used in hplc first it is an septum uh, injector uh, by using the micro syringe second is an a uh, stop flow septumless injector injection and uh, third is a micro volume sampling we will see about uh, only the stop flow uh, septumless injection in this what we are going to do uh, in this the injection uh, is firstly we, we have to stop the flow of mobile uh, mobile phase uh, in the hplc then we are going to open the upper part of column then we put the sample after that we will again start the flow of mobile phase means we are going to open the upper part of uh, our column and then we inject our sample uh, by first of all we are what we are going to do in that in simple word we are going to stop the flow of mobile phase then we are going to open the upper part of column then we will inject our sample then we uh, uh, after injecting we are, we are going to again start the flow of mobile phase so this is an concept of our sample injector let's see the analytical column and the length of analytical column is the 10 to 30 centimeter the internal diameter is 4.5 mm and the external diameter of this analytical column is 6.30 mm it may be asked in, into the mcq or two mark question uh, and uh, this column is made up of stainless steel uh, because uh, which can resist the high pressure as the, during packing of column 14000 to 50000 psi pressure is applied so detectors uh, uv visible detectors can be used in hplc fluorescence detector mass detector or film ionization detectors can be used into the hplc so hope so you got the idea about the hplc in short uh, in uh, in that uh, you have to explain uh, the hplc with the introduction then you have to draw your uh, hplc instrumentation and explain uh, one by one uh, all the parts with the well labeled uh, diagrams uh, then you will get uh, good marks i uh, hope so uh, you got the idea about the hplc thank you for watching our video we will meet in the next lecture thank you